Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very exciting episode because today I have the Pat McGrath Mothership Rose Decadence Palette and I also have three of her lip shines. So I'm going to be trying these out and swatching these and creating looks out of these palettes, uh, these shades and so yeah, let's get started. So the Pat McGrath Rose Decadence Palette looks like this. It's got this hardboard packaging. I like the fact that they've enlarged the Pat McGrath logo. I think it looks really good. And this one doesn't come in like a external packaging. This is it. This is how it comes. And it's got this magnetic sort of stick on thing. And this is how the shades look. Now, I don't own too many of these uh, smaller Pat McGrath palettes, so I don't know if all of those uh, packages look like this, but I'm not the biggest fan of the quality of this packaging. It's, it feels um, not so expensive. It's got these untidy folds everywhere, so it doesn't feel that great as opposed to, you know, the other Mothership palettes, the packaging is just, you feel the luxury when you hold those uh, palettes, but this one is just, you know, ordinary. And the shades, I have the shades with me. So it came like this, but it's so hard to take it out that I already took it out beforehand. Now talking about the shade selection, honestly, I'm not too impressed with these shades. Um, but I've been proved wrong so many times by the Rose series. Uh, initially I wanted to buy, I mean actually didn't want to buy the Rose 1 uh, palette and I had made up my mind that I won't but I saw the uh, reviews and the looks that pe you know all the other people were creating so I was so impressed so ended up buying the Divine Rose 1. I had the same emotion when I when she came out with the Divine Rose 2 and then ended up buying that as well and I was so wrong then as well so this time I thought you know what I'm just going to buy it and make up my mind so I don't waste time browsing through all the other reviews and you know going through the FOMO. So that's why I ended up buying this but uh, yeah I think I have uh, these shades at least most of these shades. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare this with some of the shades that I think I already have and they are not necessarily in the Pat McGrath palettes but most of them I feel like I have in the Natasha Denona ones. So I'm going to swatch these and also swatch the comparables. So let's look at the matte ones first. So this is the light shade. It's called Peach Dusk and it looks like this. And this is me burning my hand uh, while cooking. And this one is the darker plummy shade and it's called Hedonistic Rose. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So this is the plummy shade. Now, I feel like uh, this one is also available in the Divine Rose too. So let's grab that. And yeah, I feel like, you know, these and this one. So they are very comparable. And I feel like the Divine Rose 2 ones are much more softer. Like the Decadence ones, they feel very powdery to the touch but the divine rose ones the shades first of all are pretty comparable not exactly but they are kind of the same and i feel like the quality on the divine rose two ones is better at least to the touch it feels much better now i also feel like the natasha denona pink palette also has uh, comparable shades in fact i feel like most of this palette is comparable to the natasha denona pink one so let's see this shade now quick disclaimer i have rearranged all the shades so the names do not match the shades i'm going to put the actual name down below so this is the peachy shade from the natasha denona pink palette and this is the darker shade from the palette and i'm just going to swatch these as well This is the Natasha Denona one. Let's do one more swipe. So this is the Decadence and this is the Natasha Denona 
This is Natasha Denona. This is Decadence and this is the Divine Rose too. So, I mean, not exactly, but pretty similar. Now let's check out the metallics. So obviously I'll start with the lightest. So this is pink champagne. And this is how pink champagne looks. It's a very nice peachy gold shade. I think it looks really pretty. Now I feel like the comparable shade is probably this light one in the Natasha Denona Love Palette. And this is how it looks. This is a little bit peachy and this is a little bit more pinky, but yeah, kind of similar, not exactly. And while we're at it, I'll just take the Divine Rose 2 light shade as well and see how that looks. So yeah, this one's a lot more pinkier, even though it looks kind of much lighter on the palette, I feel like it's pretty pinky. So the next shade is actually the shade that I was most exci excited about and that's the Fuchsia Flame shade and it's this purpley shade. I mean, it, initially I thought it was uh, pink, but it's actually purple and it's got blue specks to it. So this is Fuchsia Flame. And I feel like the only shade that comes close to this is this pure love shade in the Biba, sorry, in the love palette. It's a lot darker, but even this one has like blue specks. So I thought I'll do a comparison. So that's how they compare. I mean, this one's pretty pinky comparatively. It's purpley, but it's not that purpley. The Love Palette shade is a lot more purple, but they both have blue specks. The next shade is this beautiful copper shade and it's called Scandalous. And this one is a very pretty, beautiful copper shade and it's very creamy as well to the touch. And I feel like this one is comparable to one of the shades in the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. And it's again, I've reshuffled this, but it's the true copper shade, the dark red shade. I feel like it's pretty close. So yeah, I mean, this is a lot more coppery comparatively. This has got a little bit more red, but they're pretty similar. And the last one is a golden shade and it's called Golden Honey. And well, I mean, I'm sure we have lots of golden shades if i were to compare this with all the gold shades i have i would probably have my entire arm you know full of gold shades i'm just going to you know leave this one as is yeah it's a nice gold shade now let's play with this palette so i have my wayne goss number 18 brush and it's a blending brush and i'll just go into this peach shade and create a nice transition with it So as I apply it, I feel like it's nice, but it's it feels very powdery. I don't know how to explain this, but it doesn't have that satiny feel to it. Okay. Now I'm going into this Sonia G Crease 2 brush and go into this dark shade. And I'm just going to blend it towards the edges of my corners of my eye on both sides so this shade I honestly didn't feel that it would apply pretty smoothly but it does work pretty nicely just deepening this on both sides now going into this peachy shade one more time and just blending this whole thing out it's added a nice hue to my eye again deepening this with the hedonistic rose plummy shade Now I'm just going to go into my NARS concealer and just apply 
a little bit towards the center because I want to create a nice halo with this. And then with a flat brush, I'm going to go into this pink shade, the light pink champagne shade and just apply this on the center. Blending this a little bit. Now I just want to do the same thing on the lower lid. So I'll just take the plummy shade and just apply it towards the corners. And then with the shader brush, just apply this towards the center. Now let me finish this look and come back. Now I think I'm going to try the lip shine lipsticks as well. So I have three of these. Now, it's an interesting story. Um, I was not planning on buying these lip shine lipsticks. These are $36 a pop. So I was like, no way this is happening. But I was on the Pat McGrath website. I think I was probably the first one uh, on the website that day. And I saw that they had these trios. And the price that it showed was $60 for a trio. So I was like, okay, it's for $20 a, you know, per piece. So I was like, okay, this sounds like an amazing deal. So I just ended up buying the trio. But later on, I checked on the website. They actually increased the price to $92. So I guess it was a typo. And so I got lucky. And... I got it for $20 per lipstick, so that's why I ended up buying it. But for $36, I would never have bought these lipsticks. It's just way too expensive. And if you see, the amount of product that you get in this is just this. That's it. So it's definitely very, very expensive and I don't think it's so worth it. But yeah, let's look at this shade. And I think this one's called Belle Amour. Let's see. Yeah, this one's Belle Amour. So it's a nice pinky balmy lipstick it's, it feels very good it's got these nice ingredients coconut butter and lychee extract etc so it sounds really fancy let's see how it looks so it feels really amazing definitely feels very soft but i don't think it's something that's exceptional i think you have a lot of lip balms that are out there or shiny lipsticks that are as moisturizing as this one feels really really good but it's just so expensive anyway so this is bellamore all right so let's try another look so i'm going to go with my sonia g worker 3 brush into this peach shade I guess this is the only transition shade available in this palette so that's what we're going to use today i have to be honest if i were to use this palette i don't think i would just use this palette like i would definitely have uh, some of my viseart neutral palettes uh, handy with me because i would definitely need something to create a little bit of depth and that depth doesn't have to necessarily be with this darker you know plummy shade so yeah i mean doesn't have to be you know all of these shades or nothing at all you can always mix and match now i'm going to go into this uh, smith brush into this copper shade and apply this all over my eyelid i feel like this is a really nice coppery shade let's see how it applies with this brush otherwise i'll have to use my finger okay it don't think it applies that easily but you have to you know go in a little bit but once it applies it looks pretty foiled on the eye just creating kind of like a wingy shape with this I'm just going a little bit towards the crease as well just blending it all out with the transition shade I'm actually really liking this now going with my Wayne Goss number 19 brush into this plummy shade and just creating a little bit of depth with this I love this brush it's so good for creating that sharp crease
so i'll just go into my viseart neutral palette and go into this dark brown shade and mix it with a little bit of black just to you know create a little bit of depth here and just smoke it all out i'm going to go into this tighter sigma brush and go into this gold shade and just apply it on my lower lid just to add a little bit of shine and just to brighten up my inner corner i'm just applying this gold here as well all right now i'll finish this look and come back so this is the finished look it's a nice coppery smoky look to pair up uh, with this look i'm going to apply another one of these lip shine lipsticks and this is the shade temptress and this is a red balmy shade let me uh, apply the bellamour one as well so you can kind of get an idea how they compare so this one's a lot red and this one's kind of pinkish i mean they are really good the only complaint i have is this is expensive feels really smooth so that's the temptress shade so before i dive into the last look i want to try this peachy shade and see how it applies as a blush it seems pretty dark hmm has a lot of pigment so you have to be pretty mellow with the way you apply this it does look really nice kind of like this plain simple red lip and this blush look all right now let's get started with the last look for the last look i want to go into this plummy shade and just create a transition with it let's see how it applies just trying to test out i have been pleasantly surprised with these matte shades honestly i wasn't expecting them to apply smoothly the way they felt while swatching they didn't feel as soft as i was expecting them to be so um, they definitely apply really well i have to say just blending it all, it all out I'm just going very slowly. I'm just taking this packing shade from Natasha Denona and I'll go into this purple shade. I've been super excited about this shade. Let's see how it applies. So this one's got um shimmer to it and it looks really good actually. It's got this peachy and purpley and blue shift. I feel like as I apply with the brush, um it doesn't apply smoothly, so let me try my finger and build this pigment. So it might look pink and i don't think the camera is doing justice to this shade but it's actually a pretty nice peachy purpley blue shade now just creating that depth with the darker shade just tapping this towards the corners and just on my lower eye and then again with this uh, brush i'm going to go into this purpley shade and just apply it on my inner corner lower lid you are loving this purple look just blending it all out and with a tighter brush i'm going to go into this pink champagne shade apply it on my brow 
and my inner corner add a bit of shine to the eye and that's it now i'll finish this look and come back so i have applied some mascara and some lashes and this is kind of the finished look now i'm gonna be applying this uh, nude shade and it's called the nude venus lip balm shade and this is the third one it's a pretty neutral light shade i actually you know like this one a lot because i know i'm going to be getting a lot of use out of it because i usually wear nude shades all right so this is the finished look and this is the last look and it is done so i wanted to share my final thoughts about all of these products so first the lip shine so these are amazing they really really hydrate the lips the shades the matte shades look really good they add a nice tint to the lips um, so in that sense they are really good but they are so expensive like frighteningly expensive you have so little product for 36 dollars that's a lot and for a product like a lip balm or a balmy lipstick you know you tend to apply balmy lipsticks or lip balms a lot more than normal lipstick so one would expect such products to have a little more than usual so you know you don't run out of them pretty quickly so in that sense i just feel like this is super expensive um unless they are on sale i definitely don't recommend buying these i mean you can definitely find a nice lip balm or a balmy lipstick in a different brand i use the fresh ones uh, and they work great they are for 24 dollars, and you get a lot more and they last a long time and they are equally hydrating and yeah i usually buy them on sale so yeah i prefer that you know you buy something uh, that is you know long lasting these are just i feel like an indulgence but definitely really good uh, i tested these last night and they did last a little bit longer than i was expecting them to be and they left a little tint on the lip as they faded away i could feel the moisturizing or hydration on my lips even after the tint faded so in that sense i feel like it's nice but definitely very very expensive so the rose decadence palette for this one i have mixed emotions so for someone who doesn't have you know some of these shades i feel like this is a really good palette um, it definitely applies really well the shades were pretty smooth to apply i mean i was pleasantly surprised with these matte shades i wasn't expecting them to apply you know well i'm not the biggest fan of pat mcgrath matte shades in general and when you swatch these you might feel that they're very powdery but they apply really well so that was good um this shade this fuchsia shade is very pretty it's got these blue specks and the camera just doesn't do justice to the shade it really really looks good and this pink champagne shade i think this is just the perfect addition to this palette because it adds a lot of versatility to this palette and you can create interesting looks with this um this co copper shade is also amazing it has this nice foiled finish uh, as you build this shade so it looks really good um but i didn't like the gold one as much i mean i, I mean it's the gold in itself is nice but uh, you know we have so many golds i'd rather have something I don't know unique or at least a deep dark matte shade to create depth this shade was okay i mean but it wasn't dark enough like i wanted something even deeper so that's something that i was you know missing in this palette now for me or for someone who has like the bronze palette or the love palette from natasha denona I don't think you need this palette. If you have both, you definitely don't need this because uh, the copper shade in this is basically the copper shade in the bronze palette and I'm sure you might have these this copper shade in other palettes as well. And the Natasha Denona, this pure love shade, this is also like a purple shade with blue specks and let's see this fuchsia shade this duochrome shade they are very very similar so 
just reminding this uh, how similar they are so and i think on the eyes also they will look pretty similar so i don't know i don't think you are missing out on a lot if you have the love palette and you don't buy this one um, but otherwise if you you know want to buy this i definitely feel like you won't be super disappointed because i feel like they applied really well um would i use this palette standalone i don't think so i think i would definitely have like my visi art neutrals palette or something to you know create depth with darker brown shades uh, and then use these shades so that's how i would uh, use this palette on the daily uh, but yeah it's a nice palette definitely so that's been my review of the pat mcgrath decadence palette the decadence rose palette and the lip shines and i hope this was helpful i hope this was fun i hope you subscribe to my channel and until the next time we meet bye